Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We have five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night and a great week, folks. You are what you believe you are. Humans are powerful magicians. You have the power to make yourself what you are right now, but it's not your reasoning mind that controls your power. It's what you believe. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 150. NASDAQ is up 296. S&P's up 25. Gold contract down $25, traded at 1884 an ounce. You get silver up 54 cents, 24 dollars flat. Light sweet crude up 88 cents, 93 dollars. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note up five ticks, trading 126.14. The 30-year down five at 152.13. And King Dollar. King Dollar's up 885 ticks, trading 97.07. Euro is at 111. Yen's at 115.68. And the British pound is at 133 to one U.S. dollar. iPhone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you got? We have some nice volatility out here, folks. This is a, uh, <laughs> this is a great little market. Bottom line, we were at 410 on the S&P. Bottom line, it says, guess what? I don't want to be here. I am up at 424 right now. And, uh, you know, we'll see uh, where this bounce can go. Um, you know, it's rejected lower price out here. Had um, the volume's going to be not bad, not not great, but not a monster amount of volume. NDX 100, you got to love this one, man. NDX 100 is up eighteen dollars from its low, folks. Okay, bottom line, you hit three eighteen or three thirty six. Now let me show you something though, because this is what I've actually talked about this, and it actually hit the top of this. So this is what we have. We were targeting this uh, 324 is the top, 297, 290 sale. Let's pull, set this up because I'm going to show you something. I mean, we're going a lot lower, by the way, folks. That's my take on this, but you, you get a nice bounce going, no doubt. Okay, so this high volume low out here, that goes all the way back to March of 2021. The high volume low uh, was 324. We hit today 318, you rejected it. Okay, so it wants to bounce. That, that's the bottom line. That being said, let me show you this. This, because this is going to get really intriguing, because this is where I think that this whole thing can go, you know, the next two or three months. I just pulled up the DAX, okay? So when you pull up the DAX, I'm going to go back three years, and when you do that, what you're going to see is that the DAX came all the way back to February pre-COVID, 13,795, back to the breakout area. My take, that's where we're going to end up, folks. Um, in this market in general. Gold. You gotta love this, man. This, <laughs> this, is, this is how gold loves to trade. Now, for all you metal bulls out here, this is when you want to get serious about what do you want to buy. Okay, so we had an ABC structure up, confirmed ABC structure up. That was up to the uh, 18, let's see, 1946. That was the number. So we got 1976, right? Gives it up in spades. And it depends on how long you've been in markets in general um, and, and have seen this type of action before. And, and I'm including, you know, unfortunately, whether it's invasions, people getting bombs and all of, the, all of the, that. This is, this is a typical move on gold. That's the bottom line. And what you saw out here this morning, you could see that gold was up that high, but yet the gold equities, okay, were only up 20 or 30 cents. So now the question is, they took it south real quick, okay? Bottom line, we'll see where this shakes down to. Right now, I says 1856 is game. You know, you talk about a spread out here today, though, man, what a spread. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market. What do we have with the note and bond market? Notes and bonds continue to want lower price, higher yield. Had it out here today. What do we do? We get up to 127.12, gives it up in spades, bottom line. It wants lower price. And we go over to King Dollar. We have a King Dollar out here. Bottom line of King Dollar gets up to a price point today of 97,735. The last high was 97,441. And guess what? That gave it up also. So when we put this together, what that is saying to me that what you're going to see here is that 
Metal's going to continue higher. This is uh, this is how markets trade, folks. When you got the big bad bear out here, and the big bad bear is here, and don't think because you get a bounce like this um, that it's over. It ain't even close. It's not even close. Um, you want to see something that's <laughs> this part here? Watch this. Let me see if I can get this article because this is an amazing. Oh, here it, there it is. Here, listen to this. So UBS, right? Basically, triggered margin calls today. I'm talking about on large funds, folks, okay? They decided that, well, first off, most of these would be international, but I'm sure there's some of our own funds that are caught in this, okay? And what it is is that the Russian bonds that UBS had put together, well, as clients gave them for collateral, they marked them down to zero. They did that about five hours ago. So the bottom line is, and it's 400, it, it's, not, it's not that much, it's 450 million. Yeah, 400, 447 million. But the bottom line, if you're one of those folks that gave up collateral, um, you had till the end of today to basically come up with that bread. So there's going to be ramifications out here, like all over the place. Now, bringing down to zero, I think that's pushing it, but the banks will push it in this type of scenario. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.